I do most of my life drawing from photo reference, but I do like to attend local weekly life drawing sessions. Most of the studios that I visit have art horses available, but sometimes seats fill up and I find it really uncomfortable to draw sitting on a regular chair because I usually have a large drawing surface. So I decided to build a collapsible art horse that way I can have a backup in my car in case I get to a studio and there are no more seats available. I'm starting by cutting the 2 by 2s for the legs. So here I'm measuring them to be 15 inches long, but I forgot to account for the leveling hardware that I'm using. So I eventually ended up cutting off one inch from each leg, making them 14 inches tall instead of 15. I'm reusing these two by two, so I'm cleaning up the ends that I had already drilled into. So here are four pairs of 14 inch two by twos. The board that I'm using to sit on is three quarter inch thick board by nine and three quarter inches wide. So I have to decide the length of the board. I need to give myself enough space for the legs to fold without hanging over the edge or bumping into each other here at the center. And I also need to make sure that the levelers are going to fit. I've decided that 34 inches will give me the room I need for the legs and the mounting hardware. Now all the wood pieces are cut to the correct size. Here I'm just drilling the holes to mount the leveling hardware. The instructions tell you exactly what size and depth to drill each hole, but I lost the instructions so I have to measure everything out by hand. I'm just making sure that everything fits. Here I'm cutting the supports that I'm going to use to rest my drawing surface on. I want the top bar to be the same width as the sitting board, so I'm cutting it to 9 and 3 quarter inches. The pipe has some existing damage here at the center, so I'm just going to cut off the ends. I'm mounting the pipes to the sitting board using a metal flagpole holder. This thing is surprisingly strong and it's very easy to adjust and collapse. I want this bar to be about 19 inches tall. This is a little bit taller than what I need. But for now, I'm going to leave it at this height, and then after using it, I'm going to adjust it so that it's it's at a size that's comfortable for me. I have a box of scraps that I like to keep. These are great whenever I'm struggling to find a subject to draw. I can just pull out these shapes and arrange them in any way and just start sketching. Here I'm rounding over the edges. This is going to make it a bit more comfortable to sit on. I'd rather have my legs hanging over a rounded edge rather than the sharp edge. And it's also going to make it a little bit more comfortable to carry. It's not so important to round over the edges on the legs, but I think it looks nice. I'm sanding everything down to make it smooth. Here I'm screwing in the leveling hardware. I'm pre-drilling holes to avoid splitting the wood. Here are the folding brackets that I'm using. If I build another art horse, I won't be using these brackets. The main thing that I don't like about these is that they don't lock when they're in the collapsed position. Another thing that I would change about this build is the space between the legs and the edge of the board. 
I wish I would have thought of this earlier, but it would have been nice to leave myself some room to add some struts to help stabilize the legs. Now I'm marking the areas where I'll be drilling the holes for the legs. Once I make sure that the first leg is working fine, I can move on to the other three legs. Now I'm mounting the flagpole holder. These screws are not ideal, but for now this is what I have, so I'm going to use them and eventually replace them with some bolts. The metal pipe that I'm inserting into the flagpole holder is not thick enough for the screw to grab onto. So I'm going to cut and measure this plastic tube and then wrap it around the metal tube. Now that I've assembled everything and I can test it, I'm realizing that it needs more support. So I'm gonna add a crossbar to the front and back legs. I'm mounting these sections using pocket holes. I'm also adding a door catch to the front and back legs. I mentioned this earlier, but the brackets don't lock when they're collapsed, so I have to take this extra step. These door catches are not very strong, so the legs can swing open, but I won't be carrying this thing long distances, so this is fine for me. Now I need something for my drawing surface to catch onto. I'm carving a shallow groove across the board. After testing my art horse, I've decided to add some stop collars to the top bar. This will keep my drawing surface nice and even so that it's not tipping from side to side. I've also added a little bit of cushion so that it's not so uncomfortable to sit for long periods of time. Let me know if you enjoyed the build. I'll add some affiliate links to the parts that I use down in the description. If you enjoy life drawing, please consider subscribing. I'll be posting bi-weekly reference videos on my channel for you to practice.